all I can remember is just walking up and being completely horrified of what that scene was. I couldn't even recognize the way she looked. I couldn't recognize the way she looked, man. I stood right over her as I was on the phone. Oh. Like, that's something that's gonna be with me for a long, long, long time, man. I mean, she had a bright and amazing personality. She was super involved on campus, and I know that everybody that knew her knew that she was just such a positive and outgoing person. Very passionate and driven um, all around. It just hurts to see her in the state that she was in. I mean, it's just a lot. I think that this is a very, very, very strong indication that campus security needs to be increased. We need more cameras. We need to have security gates around student housing. The safest location for students to be is on a university campus. Students never have to worry about their safety while they stroll or sleep on campus, but in this instance, Asia Franklin, 21, died in what she believed to be the most secure setting. This entire situation resulted from her ex-boyfriend, who even her family trusted. No one expected this tragic story, but let us get into what really happened to Asia. Before we begin this video, we would like to express our deepest sympathies to the family and friends who were severely affected by this horrible crime. We would also like to send condolences to Asia's family and friends. Today's case takes us to Kennesaw. Kennesaw is a city located in Cobb County in the northwestern part of Georgia. The city has a population of around 33,000 residents. Kennesaw is known for its rich historical significance, particularly related to the Civil War. The city is home to the Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield Park, a well-preserved site of a major battle during the Atlanta Campaign. The city is also known for Kennesaw State University, one of the largest universities in Georgia, which contributes to the city's vibrant community and cultural life. On November 7, 2002, in Cairo, Georgia, Alasia Franklin was born. Alasia was a junior at Kennesaw State University. She was pursuing integrated health sciences with a minor in medical sociology. She was a friendly, upbeat, attentive, and dependable student, friend, daughter, sister, and colleague. Alasia wanted to work in healthcare and eventually become a nurse practitioner. Her mission has always been to assist others and provide a voice for those who are hesitant to speak up. Being able to represent the junior students and be a part of SGA opened her eyes. Alasia was a part-time employee, a founding member of the IHS club, and a member of the NCNW organization. She was skilled at negotiation, strategic thinking, and dispute resolution. She also started the Integrated Health Science Club at the Kansas State University and was an active member of the National Council of Black Women. Alasia Franklin had a warm, infectious grin and an even more promising future. To everyone she came into contact with, she was a unique individual. She was intelligent, courteous, modest, and beautiful on the inside. Alicia met Samuel Harris and developed a connection with him. The relationship had a lot of warning signs. The pair split up in December after more than a year of dating due to unhealthy dynamics in the union. Though they chose to stay friends, the family was worried about the direction the movement would take. Around 4 p.m. on Saturday, KSU police issued a secure-in-place notice to the campus, informing people about an armed intruder. Harris and Franklin argued in front of the Austin Residence Complex on the university's housing. Kennesaw campus. Alasia was shot and died during a disagreement. By 4.43 p.m., the university's emergency management department said that the suspect, Samuel Harris, was no longer a threat to campus. Harris, who is not a student at the university, fled campus after allegedly shooting Franklin and was apprehended by police in Marietta. Cobb County jail records state that Harris was taken into custody at 4.15 p.m. on Saturday and charged with murder, aggravated assault, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. Harris is being held without bond. New tonight at 11, we're learning more about the student who was shot and killed at Kennesaw State University this weekend. 
Police confirmed with 11 Alive, the rising junior Elijah Franklin was killed after a dispute on campus. Her father is speaking with 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles for the first time from Cairo, Georgia. And we're also hearing from a student who actually found Elijah on the ground. So Teresa, what do we know about what happened to her? Well, Ron, I am standing in front of the Austin complex right now near Campus Loop Road, and it was right here where witnesses tell me they found Alasia's lifeless body, leaving this campus with many questions. However, the only question her father has is why. Kennesaw State University students are at a loss. We were all just sitting there like in the dorm, just like watching a movie, and then we heard like these shots go off. Senior St. Williams says he heard eight to ten pops and didn't believe it until he walked outside of the Austin resident complex to see what was going on and ran into who KSU police have now confirmed as the shooter, Samuel Harris. We saw him get in his car, like packing stuff up, and then he drove off. Police tell us that his target was 21-year-old Alasia Franklin. She was just laying there. Clinging to the life her family was so used to seeing. She was full of life, full of laughter. She never gave her mother a day of grief. That was until now. Grief struck a South Georgia family and an entire campus when Alyssa was pronounced dead Saturday. It's a loss her father, Bobby Franklin, cannot come to terms with. I'm lost for words. I feel like my heart has been ripped out of my chest. Bobby says his firstborn child was about to start her third year at KSU. She was studying to be a nurse practitioner. Her alleged killer, Harris, cut her plan short and as a result has been arrested yeah, for murder. But like Williams, who's now traumatized, says violence like this makes him question what's being done to protect other college students. If something like that's just happening in broad daylight, no, I don't think anyone should feel safe on campus. We need to protect our women, our black women. Bobby says he met Harris and describes him as an ex-boyfriend who wouldn't let Alasia go. I never could imagine him being capable of doing something like this. He hopes his daughter's story will encourage all parents to be more involved so they're not thrown for a loss when what he believes was domestic violence shows up in a horrifying way. We all need to stop and make time and communicate with our children to make sure that they say. A spokesperson for KSU police tells us that Harris was not a student and he also faces aggravated assault and possession of a firearm charges. Live in Kennesaw, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News. Yeah, Teresa, I can't imagine what that dad is going through right now. Our hopes and prayers are with that family. By the way, Kennesaw State University is providing counseling tomorrow through Friday from 8 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. In addition to being in a toxic relationship and hurting each other, it was additionally alleged that Harris did not handle rejection very well. He refused to let Alasia to reject him. According to other reports, Harris killed Franklin in retaliation for what Alasia and her new boyfriend had done to him, but at this time, we are unable to confirm any of these claims. Franklin's diligence and altruism will live on in her memory. We hope Alasia Franklin's soul finds peace. If you would like to stay updated with this type of content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the following video.